Okay, so you want to create mailing labels in Microsoft Word based on a list in Excel. So first of all, obviously you need that list in Excel and here's mine. You see I've got column headings at the top here and then the relevant fields that I need for my mailing labels. Okay, so that's in place. I'm gonna close this down and get into Microsoft Word. So I'm in a blank document in Microsoft Word. My first step is to go to this mailings tab on the ribbon and I'm gonna to go to the start mail merge button and then choose labels. Now obviously I need to select the correct label and you've got a vendors drop down list here. I've chosen Avery US letter and the label that I want has the number 5660. So there it is. So I select that label and I click on OK. Now it should create this table for you in your Word document. If you can't see the grid lines, go up to this layout tab on the ribbon and make sure that view grid lines is turned on. Then go back to your mailings tab and we need to select our recipients. So we click on the select recipients button, use an existing list. And now you need to browse for wherever you've saved your Excel file that contains all the recipients. So there's my customer database. I select it, click on open. I need to click on OK here. And then I'm asked to select the table that contains the data I want to use in my merge. Now the data was on sheet one, so that's already selected. And down here, it just asks you to confirm that the first row of data contains column headings. And if you remember, ours did, so we click on OK. Now you'll notice that all these cells have this text next record apart from the first cell in your table. Now in this first cell, you need to put in the merge fields for your address label. Now the easiest way of doing that is to use this insert merge field button. If we click on the little drop down here, we can select our merge field. So the first field I want is first name, and then I'll need a space, and then I'll put in last name. I'll press enter, and then use street address, enter again, city, enter again, state, and you can start to see that we have a problem. We cannot see all the fields in this cell. Now, the way around this is to select all the fields in that cell, go to the Home tab on your ribbon, and change the star that's being used from normal to no spacing. I need to catch state as well. And now you can see you have less space between the lines in your address label, which means you can see all of the fields. So back to mailings, I need to insert the zip code. Now you can play around with the margins within this cell. If you go to the layout tab on your ribbon, there's a cell margins button here. And for example, I'm going to increase the margin on the left of this cell. So I'll take that up to 0.05. And on the top as well, I take that to 0.03. If I click on OK, you can see it just creates a little bit of padding inside the cell and therefore the label. Now back to the mailings tab. And what I need to do is click on this update labels button. You can see now that it copies those fields, those merge fields into the other cells in this table. Now, if I want to preview my results and click on this button, and then I can navigate through the different pages in my mail merge to see the other labels. Now, assuming you're okay with the look of the labels, you're ready to print. So we go to this finish and merge button and then print documents. Click on okay and then you're ready to print. Okay, that is all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next video.